Um, yeah, I'm going to ask Roger to play the tune and then I'll tell you a little bit about the dance. That's the basic. 
But we're going to turn a quarter each time. So second, and then on that hop, turn. So you've gone a quarter to the right. And do your hop for a feet beat there. And the next one, with the right foot, second, turn, hop, beat, beat. Then the left, second, turn, hop, beat, beat. Second, turn, beat. Yep. So, each time, a quarter on the hop. Don't anticipate the turn. The second goes to second, the turn is on the hop. So you ready for your hop brush feet beat in the new direction. Let's try it like that. Ready? And... If you're anything like me, you will find you're more likely to anticipate. So the left one is fine because you're turning as you would expect. And you do a hot brush beat beat. With the right one, you're turning against your foot. So it's that bit more difficult. That one's easy. That one, you've got to make more effort. So be aware of that. I'll try doing it the other way on. So I'm mirroring now. And be aware of not cheating on that second position. Ready, and... Sorry. Ah, this one needs to be part, yeah. Ready, and... Hopefully that's the chorus. We do that five times, so you get lots of practice at it. So, we can go into the first step, which will be to the A music. We'll have, this is an asymmetric step. You only ever do it in this one direction. It starts with a pas de basque. Pas de basque, brush, beat, beat. And then we've got, that's the hands forward, hop, back, behind, side, front. Repeat the glass for Highlanders. Forward, hop, back, hop, behind, side, front. And then we finish off with a reversal of what we had at the start. Hop, brush, beat, beat, and a pas de basque. So it's a sandwich. You do a pas de basque, hop, brush, beat, beat. First Glasgow Highlanders step. Then reverse it. Glasgow Highlanders, hop, brush, beat, beat, pas de basque. Just mark that again and then we'll dance it. So, pas de basque, brush, beat, beat, forward, hop, back, hop, behind, side, front. Forward, hop, back, hop, behind, side, front, hop, brush, beat, beat, and a pas de basque. We'll try dancing that. Ready, and. for the pas de basque. 
because we're going straight into spring with the left foot out, turn, hot brush, beat, beat, spring, turn, beat, beat, spring, turn, brush, beat, beat, spring, turn, hot brush, beat, beat. It is possible to put the extension in. My own dance style means I generally miss it at that point, just to get a neat transition in. So, <laughs> so we do the step and the chorus for step one, starting with Anne Basque. Ready? And. And a basque, hot brush, beat, beat, forward and back. to go in. Uh, starting with the right foot, pad of ass to begin. Ready? And... Do that one facing you and then we'll put steps one and two together. 
together. So, second behind to begin, going out with the right foot. Ready? And... Ready? Put the left foot out for the chorus. 
Deb, yeah. when you bring your foot through, is that yeah. with a swish or off the floor? I'm going to it with a swish. It doesn't have that in Elizabeth's notes. So I think sometimes I do make contact simply because you're quite low to the ground. Yeah? So I think that's a slight matter for debate. It, you do end up slightly swishing it to get ready for the next one, yes. And it does make it quite a... You can do it without, but then I think it harshens the movement. Whereas keeping it low keeps it soft. Deb, Deb just one other thing. I think the, the second step... It's not in place. I, th I think I teach it with sort of two almost equal length steps, like step close, step swish. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I you think it's because of you your you maybe. It's interesting because on Elizabeth's instruction, she goes slightly to the diagonal, which I like. Yeah, no, but I mean, uh, sorry, I'm not. Yes. Your second step, your very short, small second step. And I think that's maybe the space. But I make them more even. Yeah. You know so forwards on yeah. that one. Yeah. Well, I think well, it's going one. off screen. It's a good point, Albert. The the two steps should be perhaps a bit more equal than I'm giving them credit for. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, sorry. What you're going step? Wait. Right, close, right. Yes. Yeah. Right. I make a more even step than the first as the first one you're going step close and then a little yeah i do more that but i don't know if that's right but i definitely don't shorten the sentence that could be stylistic okay yeah i'm related to another step yeah that's more that, that's more what i do but okay. i you've talked to elizabeth <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good point alma um, and it's, it's good it's good to get the feedback because I hadn't realised they weren't equal until you pointed it out. <laughs> so one to think about about making those steps equal. Yeah, I, I think you're trying to make use of your space, right? Your yeah. space. Okay, so. we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, but there are there always are stylistic differences in that. So step pose step. Steps to leave pas de basque and a spring through. I will do it with my back to you and we'll put the chorus on with it as well. Okay? So, can we have an A and a B for this? Starting with the right foot. Ready? And. And leave pas de basque and a spring through. So you have to keep your balance absolutely above that turning foot. You then you've had to back and you spring through. Because this leg, as you're coming through, kind of gives a bit of inertia to it, all the effort has to come from your hopping foot, which means you've got to be absolutely balanced on it while holding a leg going out to upset your balance. So I really find you have to concentrate on keeping upright on that bit. We'll try it this way. I will attempt to mirror it because this one's only right foot. It is sometimes more problematic. Okay, let's see. Are we going right foot first? Ready? And Thank you. 
with the right foot, a hop step close to second, and then the hop, hop, down. So we did that in the practice. Hop, step, close, and the hop, hop, down. You're now ready to go with your left foot, step to second, swish, and hop with the attitude, and a pad de basque. So elements that we practiced, but putting the two together. So hop, step, close, and a hop, hop, down. Step, up, pad de basque. And you're ready there to do hop, step, close, hop, hop, down, step, up, and a pas de basque. Yeah? So we'll try that. Mark it one more time and then we'll try it with the music. So hop, step, close, and a hop, hop, down, step, and up, and a pas de basque. Hop, step, close, and a hop, hop, down, step, and up, and a pas de basque. <coughs> so, I'll attempt to dance that. I'm mirroring, so hopefully it'll go well. Um, just the A. Ready, and... Hop, step, close, and a hop, hop, down, step, switch. So after you've done the Padabasque, you've got your left foot ready to go out behind and hop, brush deep feet. So starting with the right foot, hop, step, close. Ready, and hop, step, close, and hop, hop, down, and step. question that the um, third step do you do it twice with the right foot Did twice I... with the right foot yes right. okay thank you yeah got mixed up with the turning <laughs> okay three and four ready and Step five is a two-parter. 
One part to the A music, and then another part to the B music. And it starts off with coupe, and then this hop step, hop and travel, it's not hop step, because she, she describes it, hop and travel, hop, it's the fourth intermediate. So it's coupe, hop and travel, and then another coupe, coupe, behind, front, out. <laughs> Just do that again. You don't want to travel too far because there isn't a particular going back option. Um, this one is moving more forward. So, coupe and a hop, step, close, coupe, behind, front, out. And then we repeat on the uh, left foot. Coupe, hop, step, close, coupe, behind, front, out. <coughs> Just mark that again. So, coupe, hop, step, close, coupe, behind, front, out. Coupe, hop, step, close, coupe, behind, front, out. So we can do that with the music. So just the A part. Ready? And. Coupe, hop, step, close, coupe, behind, front, out. that last behind front out is go straight into an and. So you've got behind front out and. Because we're going to be moving forward on those toe heels which starts on the and. So just marking the left foot version. Coupe, hop, step, close. Coupe, behind front out and. And you're already moving forward on it which takes a little bit of getting used to. So I'll mark it this way and we'll finish with that hand. We'll dance it again. Coupe, hop, step, close. Coupe, behind, front, out. Repeat left and finish stepping forward onto, sorry, onto the right foot. Ready? And. Coupe, hop, step, close. And from there, 
we're going to go into the last chorus, which is side behind, beat, beat, side behind, beat, beat, behind, push, beat, beat. But the last one, I'll do it slightly different, uh, is side, hop, brush, and curtsy, or in and bow at the end. I'll do that one facing this way so you can see what the last one looks like. So side, behind, beat, beat, second, behind, beat, second, behind, beat, beat, second, hop, hop, step, curtsy. Elizabeth's note, it says just brush in. Other notes I have, in, out. Now it's your back and come in, but you have to go out to step to second. So I think it's a natural rebound. And so you don't do the last hot brush beat beat. So we will try the last chorus with the step and that, or step and bow. Can you pick it up in the course? Yeah. Ready? And. as Roger is, will um, know to very slightly slow it, and that's what is happening in the recorded music versions that I've tried dancing it to. It's easy to do it in, step, down. Right, let's put the whole of step five with the chorus, and then we'll go back and revise, revisit the whole dance. Um, I'll do it this way on this time. So we've got coupe to begin. Ready? And coupe, hop, step, chance, coupe, behind and out.